how much garbage do we make? Good morning, it is Friday, which is my favorite. And today we're going out to pour a new construction driveway. Uh, if you've been following along, it's the one we set up yesterday. And uh, it's just gonna be one pour, and then uh, that's gonna be it for concrete this week. Bugs is gonna go home early, and then the guys and myself are gonna go do some mowing. So a special shout out this morning to Peter McGregor from Asoterra Landscaping out there in Pennsylvania. I appreciate that you watch the channel. I did wanna mention that when I do these shout outs, I don't get paid for these shout outs. I've, I've been asked, you know, how much can I pay you for a shout out? That's not the point of these shout outs. Uh, the point is, like I said before, I love to support small businesses. So obviously sponsored videos, that's a different story. Uh, I've had offers for sponsored videos, but none that I felt like fit the channel yet. Uh, I will do that. I am open to that. I'm not saying I'm not, uh, but just for these simple shout outs, uh, these, <laughs> I'm not taking any money for these. These are just uh, my way of you know supporting you small business owners because I know the life that you live in, it's not easy. So, all right, I will see you guys at the coffee shop. There he is. How are you today? Good, how's the coffee business? It's good. What you working on? Oh, they want the a plan of how to work this stuff, so I, I was working on it. So you're drawing up the master plans how to run a coffee shop? Scott just told me something, what did you say? I said that they told us that uh, our store is the best coffee department in the area, so, uh, of all our stores. So. The most successful coffee shop in the area out of all the quick trips. Yeah, well, it's all because of him right there. No. Yes, sir. So Daryl just calls me a couple minutes ago. Bad news. I was like, what? He goes, I ran out of gas. I'm on the freeway at Watertown Plank. I'm like, I don't know. I've never known anybody like that guy. I'm, telling you what. I'm just saying, if he doesn't bring me a sandwich today, he might be in trouble. I'm telling you. You're going back to your truck? I got it. I brought it. I forgot. Brought what? Lasagna. You forgot the lasagna? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Why you look so tired, Bobby? I don't know why. I was over here last night. You were? Daryl, Daryl just called me. He's stuck on the freeway out of gas. Is, are you serious? Yes. You were gonna, you were gonna beat him up with a two by four? Yeah, you can't be so bad. Is this you were gonna beat Daryl up with a two by four the I, other day? Yeah, I told Buzz. I said, Whoa. Okay, I did a four foot two by four. He reaches up on the truck and he goes here. Go at it. <laughs> the other day, I, I said, I told the guys, I still think you could knock him out. I put 20 on Bobby. He gets me mad enough, I will. Hey, he needs diesel. You guys can go together, get him diesel. Are you, how are you on diesel? Hey, you're on zero the ball, so I'm right here. You pour water down the lake, any doors. I didn't even leave the yard yet, man. I gotta get stuff for the guys, and I'm leaving in a minute. All right. Hey, victory style. Victory style. Victory style. Huh? Yeah, you gotta get fuel. I just gave Bugs a hundred dollars. Didn't you talk to him? He probably should, because you guys are going to the gas station together. All right, Friday starting off a little bit hectic. Uh, Daryl just called me. He ran out of gas on the freeway, so he's sitting on the freeway. So I'm gonna run over there and give him gas so he can get to the job. Oh, he's calling. Let's see how this goes. The van started. You're on your way. Okay, that's yeah. all I needed to know. Thank you. You're almost. Where you're coming to the yard? Yeah. Yeah. We got two all right. Hurry up, man. Yep. Bye. All right. So the sheriff uh, stopped on the freeway with Daryl and gave him two gallons of gas. Thomas Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. Uh, I got an 8 o'clock order. Okay. 24 and a half yards. Yes, Man, what are you guys doing running out of gas on the freeway? Because That's my dad's gas fault. I know it's your dad's fault. Yeah. You ready? Yes, sir. Just I'm jump ready. in here and let's go. How you doing in there? Doing great. All right. All I'm saying is you better have a sandwich for me today. Yep. 
Right, Daryl? Yep, it's better. Yes. Did you already have your coffee? No. Yeah, you probably shouldn't drink coffee. It might stunt your growth. He should have actually <laughs> when he was a kid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So one of the suggestions for the 100,000 subscribers is to go skydiving. What do you think? No way. <laughs> what do you mean no way? That's out of the question. <laughs> that would be fun. Your dad wants to go. Yeah. Rest in peace, Dad. What do you mean rest in peace? <laughs> Make sure you pull that wire today. Oh, I definitely will. All right, I saw a cardboard box on the porch. And I put caution tape up last night, so if somebody walked on those steps last night, I am not going to be happy. I'm wondering why there's a box on the porch. If somebody walked in that thing, I'd be freaking out. I don't see no marks. They're lucky. That made me nervous when I seen that box that somebody walked up the yeah, steps. I, saw that. I was like, they better not have. He's like testing it, and then he walked right on it. He tested it. Look at, he, he knew it was, he oh, knew it too. We're no, that's not really the problem. The problem is people just don't have a brain. Yeah. They'll walk right over tape. They'll break tape. I had, I had a driveway last year. It was caution taped off. She drove right through the tape. <laughs> like it was the finish line in a marathon. Oh, no. What'd you say? Seems like I'm always buying spray nozzles. Whatever tools are in the garage, put them down there by the tree. Hi. These buckets and stuff, the levels. It's Ryan from Victory. Uh, a couple things. How are we looking for timing this morning? Is it really? Yes! It's gonna be a good Friday, man. First one's loaded, they're on time today. Are you serious? Yes. All right, it's like 7.35, concrete's at eight o'clock. We just got everything ready to pour. Uh, driveway's going down. It's like 24 yards or so. I ordered, well, I initially ordered 24 and a half or something, but I put another yard on because the grade's a little bit deep, kind of in the middle there as I checked the grade. So everybody's ready to go, mesh is in, screed pins are in. Those give us our elevations when we screed. The top of those pins is the top of concrete. Dare, are you ready? Of course I'm ready. I'm gonna die, this is a big one. This is so wide. It's not that it's, just, it's just so wide, that's it. This is just like... Eric, don't even talk like you're scared on this job. Is. It's 25 yards. We got it. Are those pumpkin? Fresh, it's starting to be that time of year, man. Oh, yeah. Pumpkin muffins. Guys, some muffin? Pumpkin muffins are a sure sign that fall is oh, in the yeah. air. For the 100 keys, we come to the like normal, but instead of doing concrete work, we do some destruction. Do but destruction? Your dad already does destruction. Did you ever yeah, see him right. in the skid loader? <laughs> yeah, he ran out of gas this morning on the freeway. How do I not run out of gas? I'm always on empty. My, my gas late. You no, know, oh, Eric, we're not going to do a yeah, ring. You wouldn't carry a, a can with a gallon in it just in case. I always do that. I always carry a gallon. Of yeah, course, yeah. man. I carry, I carry motor oil. I carry yeah. transmission mm -hmm. fluid, brake fluid. I carry an extra short block. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> extra valves. Right yep. In. Just in case. Thank you. The top two, this one's ours at the bottom. But okay, you can we can, we'll carry it up, we'll carry it up oh, to the garage you. and you can take the bottom one from there. Here, carry this up there. I gotta switch my batteries out. So did you like that pizza? Pizza was awesome, awesome. man. Yeah, I love like it. time for good pizza for eight o'clock in the morning. Yes, it really is. Cool. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Oh, I've been eating so much food, man. Oh. Man, where are these bees coming from? Is that breakfast pizza? Uh-huh. I don't really recognize this guy. That's not a good sign, really. You ready? Yes, sir. Remember, man, 25 to life. Yeah. You're a national champion clay shooter? I've gone there, yeah. Yeah? Like, competed in it? Yeah. Man, that's pretty cool. All right, this guy is a target shooter, so hopefully he can shoot the concrete in where it's supposed to be. Keep your shoot real low by them steps. I don't want the splatter up on all. All right, here we go. Showtime. How long you been driving? Seven months? Five months? 
Well, that's not very long. Uh, Eric, you need to strike off. You need to strike off. You guys got to switch, dude. This is a pretty big driveway. It's not time for practice. See? <laughs> Come back this way and lay a nice fat bead. Good, you can start going that way now. Pull up again and hit me right here. And we're gonna do mine and we're gonna check yours. Dara, okay. you want jail time? Yes or no? Yeah. Get up here and pull it. Stop fighting now. Stop fighting. It's okay. He keeps running out of air because his truck's a hoopy. Yeah. All right, first truck's empty. That went really good. Came a little bit wetter than I like, to be honest, but nothing I can do about that. Hats? You got thirty dollars? Huh? You got thirty? What? I said they're thirty dollars, oh. and if you want me to sign it, they're fifty-five. Just kidding. This driver's a hunter, so we're gonna give him the camo version. Here's a hat for you, awesome. but there's the rules to this hat. Oh. Every time you put it on, you got a salute. All right. Let me see what you got with the salute. Let me see what you. Yeah. You're high, Eric. You're like a half an inch high at least. No, he's high. Now you got it. Darren, why are you in a bad mood? Cheer up, man. It's Friday. Hey, he's done that once or twice before. Look at that, we didn't even puddle it yet. Man, I don't I don't even need this with you. I don't even need it. I'm gonna go sit in the truck. Daryl, fling it up there like I taught you. Right. Don't push it because you're on a hill. It just comes right back down. Fling it. Let me see how you do it. Yes. And you guys listen to this too. Every time we take the bull float and the joiner out, I want five handles off for the joiner, five handles off for the bull float. Four handles on a joiner, four handles on the bull float, one loose of each. People always tell me if you step on the wire, it'll go right to the ground. Here's proof. I can't get the wire down. Sure is. All right, everything's going pretty good. Had a little wire mesh sticking up there. You guys see me stomping on that wire mesh. I've had a lot of comments that, uh, you know, if you pull the wire mesh and then step on it, it just goes right back down to the bottom. That is the furthest thing from the truth. Wire mesh is very hard to get to go down once it's pulled up. As you saw me stomping on it, I'm 280 pounds and I could just barely get it to go down under the surface. So I think that should answer that question. What do you like best about driving a concrete truck? It's always different. It's always different? Yeah. It's easy. No, it's the same. 
It's easy money too, huh? Yeah. Not as easy as doing cockroach work. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. Easy money, right? Yes. Man, Daryl Jr. is going back to his old ways. Look at him. The other time he worked, gave me a little hope, you know? Maybe he thinks he earned his keep for the month because of that last time, so he can, re he can relax now. This strap ain't on the buggy for some reason. The buggy's not even strapped down at all. None of the straps are on the buggy. All right, the two Daryls are arguing again. Stop fighting, you guys. Power buggy was not tied down at all. Could have came right off on the freeway, man. You gotta check if the trailer is connected properly and check what's on the trailer is tied down properly. It's your responsibility as a driver. If that thing could, obviously the thing really can't come off, but certain things can't come off. You could kill somebody. It's really important. Are you guys still fighting? Man, come on, Daryl. I wanna see you give your dad a hug by the end of the day. Okay. I mean, not to squish him and pop his eyes out. I mean, a nice hug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what kind of hug you want to give him. <laughs> Bug said, "Are you stupid?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you listening to? Man, you got to keep that down. I get a copyright strike for that. Daryl, you're smashing, yeah, you're smashing the lid down, man. Take it easy. Look at what you did. All right, lines are all snapped. I'm gonna cut the joints in a little bit here. Still a little wet. It's getting close. Yeah, it's definitely ready for joint. No, it's not. It's only wet right on the top. It's a lot harder than I thought it was. It's only really watery right on top. Eric, we're gonna have to cut that one there off that pillar with a board. Right where you are. Everybody look! Daryl's got a broom! Whoa! Daryl, are you sweeping the street? Yeah. You're all right. Man! Daryl's on fire right now. Yeah. Man, this stuff's almost ready right now. Problem is it's all getting hard at the same time. All right, guys are on it setting up pretty quick believe it or not it's nice and cool out but uh it's going pretty good a lot faster than i was expecting daryl come over here and finish this side eric, eric you're facing the wrong way finish the one you're on and go i don't i don't really know get this four square too eric daryl i would start over here in the sun I, i'm busy right now i'm very busy it's a lot of stuff to do man It just set up a lot faster than I expected. Yeah. Even that sloppy stuff, it was just. That was, that was weird, too. It, just looked it, weird. it looked sloppy, but it wasn't underneath. Go, Eric. Go, Eric. Whoa. Okay. Go, Daryl. Man, are you slow? Oh. I know. That's what I'm saying. Come on. No time to get them amazing shots of you finishing today, Eric. Sorry. No time for that. No time at all. Good shots, huh? Those were good shots. Those were good shots. I wish I had more time. Actually, I wish I had Autumn back. If we had Autumn back, she'd be on this right now. Where's your joiner, Daryl? You've been on this for like 10 minutes right here, man. I got so much grooming to do right now. I'm a little little busy right now, Daryl, but you can have this. That's your present. It's for Halloween. Easy money, Eric. I told you why you're nervous, man. 
This is victory. We don't lose the concrete. How could we possibly lose the concrete and name ourselves victory? You know how embarrassing that would be? Just wash it and tell them you took it. Whoa. Yeah, free team, man. Saved it. It's okay, Darren. <laughs> Saved it. Almost, almost busted my camera up. It's nice to see you guys teamed up working together. No, 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 it's not <laughs> what it is. You can't do it, so I'm covering you. It's the dance. No, he's showing the daily thing. Yeah. He's showing him, but he ain't running. That's the problem. Easy money. <laughs> easy Friday. Right, Eric? That was so easy, man. All right, we just knocked that driveway out. Looks really good. Set up a little bit faster than I was expecting, actually, with the cool weather. But we're actually a little bit north of where we usually work. So this concrete came out of a plant that we're not familiar with. So it was fine. It was fine. Turned out real nice. You guys are going to strip the forms. I'm going to seal this thing. We'll clean up and get out of here. Daryl, what are you doing up there? Take a little nap. Do you know I'm paying you, right? <laughs> I just made a video about you hustling and now you change your ways back. I know. I think I'm gonna rename this video Daryl's Lazy Again. What do you <laughs> what do you think? Are you tired? Nope. Wait, how come you were so nervous? Because it could when take we off. poured the concrete. Could it, was... it take off? No. It took off and we still handle it. Uh-huh. It took off. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> wow. Eric, I already measured these on camera. You can't, I can't even tell people of anything different. Because they all know what they are. They're 11 inches. <laughs> Look at your ears. Let me see. Oh. I think they're bigger than Eric's. Yeah. They are. I would say they're a good 11 and a quarter. Fresh concrete. Let's see. I like it. Nice. Had yeah. a one by two sitting around. So. You should probably get the marker again. You should put a victory style right here. That would, make, that would really make it a little bit nicer of a sign. Do I get a, do you a want more me? discount if I do that? Uh, you don't get any discount, not with those flip-flops. Uh, we got nails. We'll nail it up. Oh, thanks. We'll nail it up. And we'll caution tape it off real good, too. Look at this thing. Look at this driveway. That's nice, man. So, uh, I'll explain this to you so you guys don't, uh, you know, get nervous. So, see how it's like a dark, almost like a slate green right. color? So, by tomorrow, you kind of saw it with the steps, but it'll look real special speckly and kind of blotchy it'll look mottled that's completely normal all concrete dries like that and then after about three days four days five days it'll start to get real nice and white it'll all be white then okay hard board in there come by today i didn't even see uh oh i don't think so i usually have an eye for garbage people all right we're all done we're just cleaning up uh, i'm grabbing the sealer can out of my truck here and i'm gonna seal this job up and it is friday and that's the last pour of the week Still have some work to do, but there's really nothing like the feeling of a Friday after you, you know, pour your last uh, pour of concrete or whatever trade you're in. You know, you nail the last shingle or make the last plumbing connection or electrical connection, whatever you do. There's nothing like that Friday afternoon feeling uh, when you're going home uh, for the weekend. Absolutely love it. Francisco, you put it up here, but you didn't wash it. I did. You washed half of it? I sprayed it. <laughs> Bugs is gonna whip you right now hey, with the Bugs. belt. Bugs, see my folks. Bugs, here whip him. Let me see. Let me see that thing. He deserves it. Francisco, are you for real? <laughs> oh. You call that clean, man? Oh, you call that clean? Yeah. <laughs> Francisco. All right. Well, thank you very much for the work. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, have a good weekend. You, you like everything? Yeah, awesome. All right, all right, see you later. See ya. Yep, see give him a hug. You guys make up. You guys have been fighting all day. Let me see it. Let me see it. I love you, Dad. There we go. I love you too. I think people are going to be shedding tears on the internet when they see that. What do you think today, Daryl? Today was an easy day. Yes. One pour, all this. Man, we knocked it off great. Victory style. All right. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. We're back at the yard. It's like lunchtime. Uh, guys are going to take the afternoon off. Daryl said he's going to come in and mow tomorrow. I was trying to get them to go out and mow, but 
Daryl promised he's gonna come in tomorrow, so. We're gonna have some lasagna that Francisco brought. Have some lunch together and then uh, be on our way. There's chairs right here. I've got the chairs. Just put them in the shade. You brought a microwave? Man! Cool? Alright. You want some chips? I got chips. Are you just staying until tomorrow or are you staying Saturday night too? Saturday night, come back Sunday morning. Oh, okay. Did you make this or your wife? My wife did. Good. Definitely. What's her name? Lily. Lily? Yeah. Thank you, Lily. Thank, Thank you. you. Lily. Thank you. Yes. Adam, hurry. All right. All right. We gotta go. Okay. See you tomorrow. Francisco, thanks for lunch. Right. Adam. Thank you.